Oricom Talks, your weekly go-to source for the best small cap headlines for over 65 million investors since 2007. Wow. This is the deep dive. And uh, we're breaking down the crucial financial and operational results okay. coming out of the small cap space right now. The kind of news that could signal real opportunity for investors. Yeah, exactly. We've, we've really cut through the noise today to focus on you know what's, what's driving value and growth for these companies. Absolutely. Let's jump right in. Let's get straight to it. First up, a major development in the clean energy sector. Okay. HPQ Silicon, trading on the TSX Venture under the symbol HPQ, uh -huh. and their partner Novasium have announced a strategic alliance with GLD Alloys. Wow. The headline here is all about accelerating green hydrogen production. And what's really compelling for investors, I think, is the potential for significant cost reduction and scalability okay. using their metagene fuel. So what's what's particularly interesting from a financial perspective yeah. is their projection of 30 to 50% lower cost. Compared to existing methods. So this isn't just you know, incremental savings, this is a potentially disruptive advantage. Mm. Um, furthermore, their partnership with GLD Alloys, hmm. which is a major player in recycled aluminum, okay. with a 200,000 ton annual capacity suggests a clear pathway to scaling up production. They're aiming for 50,000 kilograms of hydrogen annually by 2027. That's a, that's a lot. That kind of volume coupled with the cost efficiency could make them a very competitive player in a market expected to explode of $500 billion by 2030. Yeah, that's, that's huge. Now shifting gears to the defense and humanitarian sector. Okay. Dragonfly Inc. has secured a significant global landmine mapping deal with Safe Lane Global Limited. Wow. What makes this noteworthy for investors, I think, is the multi-year agreement with a leading explosive threat mitigation company that's actually licensed by the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense for mine clearing. So the financial implications here mm -hmm. aren't just about the immediate contract value, it's about establishing Dragonfly as a key technology provider in a critical global challenge. Um, Safelane's unique position with the Ukrainian government underscores the credibility and potential for widespread adoption of Dragonfly's custom-built aerial survey drones and sensor technology, Okay. the co-development of intellectual property for aerial mine detection, further strengthens their long-term competitive edge. In this specialized market, this kind of strategic positioning can lead to substantial and sustained revenue streams. I see, yeah, so it's really setting them up for success in the future. Exactly. Moving on to the consumer health space, Quantum Biopharma, QNTM, through their licensee, Selly Nutrition, has achieved a major U.S. retail breakthrough. Okay. They've partnered with the Asian American Trade Association's council, ATAC, to bring their alcohol detox beverage, Unbuzzed, to potentially tens of thousands of retail locations nationwide. The sheer scale of this distribution deal is what catches the eye. Precisely, ATAC represents over 50,000 members, operating across more than 80,000 locations, including major convenience store giants. Wow. This isn't a small pilot program. It's a launch pad for potentially massive market penetration for Unbuzzed. Okay. If this science-backed product gains traction in these high-traffic retail environments. Yeah. The revenue potential for Quantum Biopharma through selling nutrition, could it be substantial? Investors will be watching closely to see the initial sales figures and how this partnership translates into tangible financial results. That makes sense. So this is a company that could really see some big growth. Absolutely. If this product takes off. Now let's look at a sector facing increasing challenges. Okay. Wildfire risk management, AI6 solutions. Trading on the TSX venture as AISX has been selected by MNP, one of Canada's largest professional services firms to provide wildfire risk modeling services for Canadian businesses. Wow. The key here is the integration of their specialized data. With a firm that has a massive reach across the Canadian business landscape. What's compelling for investors is the validation of AI6's wildfire 3.0 data and modeling capabilities by a major player like M&P, which has 152 offices across Canada. This signifies a growing demand for sophisticated climate risk assessment tools huh. and positions AI6 to capitalize on this need okay. by integrating their data on over 30 million simulated fire events. Wow. With MNP's extensive client network, they have a direct route to significant commercial opportunities in a market driven by increasing climate-related risks. Turning our attention to the gold sector, right. Renforth Resources listed on the CSC under the symbol RFR has announced a 29% increase in the resource estimate at their Parbec Gold Deposit in Quebec. Okay. 
What's particularly interesting for investors is a significant portion of that resource now classified in the measured category, indicating a high level of confidence. That's a crucial point. A 29% increase in gold ounces is substantial. But the fact that 12% of those ounces are now in the measured category, the highest confidence level, significantly de-risks the project. Furthermore, 87% of the resource falls within an optimized open pit model, suggesting potentially lower extraction costs. Located next to Anico Eagle's flagship Canadian Millardic mine, this increased high confidence resource makes Parbeck a much more attractive asset for potential development or acquisition in a premier gold mining jurisdiction. So it sounds like they're in a really good position right now. Absolutely. Finally, let's look at environmental technology. Go ahead. Zafiro Methane Court, trading on the CBOE Canada, is backing a groundbreaking patent focused on accelerating the remediation of orphaned oil and gas wells wow. and detecting methane leaks. Wow. The potential here lies in a more efficient and cost-effective approach to a significant environmental problem with potential for carbon offset revenue. What's noteworthy for investors mm. is the potential for this patented technology to significantly enhance the economics of orphaned well remediation by integrating satellite methane detection with field data and advanced analytics. Zafiro aims to identify high leakage wells more effectively and streamline the plugging process. This increased batch efficiency gain in carbon offset generation could lead to substantial revenue from carbon credits, addressing a major environmental liability while creating a viable business model the fact that the patent is licensed to them at no cost further enhances the financial upside. That's a really interesting development. I think a lot of people are going to be watching this closely. Absolutely. So there you have it, a rapid fire look at some key financial and operational highlights in the small cap markets. Each of these headlines points to potential catalysts and warrants deeper investigation for investors. So for HPQ Silicon, mm. trading under HPQ on the TSX Venture, the 30 to 50% projected cost reduction for green hydrogen using Medigy alongside a clear scaling strategy with GLD alloys, presents a compelling investment thesis in a high growth market. Gotcha. Dragonfly Inc. DPRO, securing a multi-year landmine mapping deal with Safelane Global in Ukraine and beyond, signals a significant opportunity in a specialized and crucial sector with potential for co-developed IP. Quantum Biopharma, QNTM on NASDAQ, via Selly Nutrition gaining access to over 80,000 retail locations through ATAC for their unbuzzed product, offers a massive distribution advantage in the burgeoning functional beverage market. AI6 Solutions, AISX on the TSX Venture, partnering with MNP to deliver wildfire risk modeling services, highlights the increasing demand for climate risk data and provides them access to a vast network of Canadian businesses. Renforth Resources, RFR on the CSE, announcing a 29% increase in their Parbeck Gold deposit, with a significant portion now in the measured category and located next to a major producing mine, significantly enhances the project's value. And Zephyro Methane Corp, backing a patent that promises to accelerate orphan well remediation and boost carbon offset efficiency, offers an innovative approach to a major environmental challenge with potential financial rewards. Each of these situations presents a potential inflection point for these companies. What key metrics will you be watching to gauge their success moving forward? That's a great question. And that's the crucial question to ask yourself as you delve deeper into these stories. Don't just take the headlines at face value. Do your own due diligence. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive. Thanks for having me.